Hey beauties, good afternoon to you. Yes, I'm a dry land, a tourist, a tourist today. I'm mean, take off the shades, you know, it's turn on. So you better listen to the message and not focus on anything else. All right, beauties. You know, the, I sometimes I say I'm not going to talk about some things. I end up doing it because I want us to increase and improve in our emotional intelligence, not just our intelligence quotient, not just knowledge, but when you get some knowledge, that you apply the knowledge with wisdom and understanding. So, you know, I heard Vibes Cartel coming out talking about, you know, his fiance, Sidem, and how people were complaining about how she needs clothes, she, she wants clothes, she needs clothes. <laughs> Beautiful people. You know, the first time I saw Bill Gates, I, I could not believe it. Because you would think that, one, he shops in Goodwill or somebody has to donate clothes to him. The way house clothes just look so simple, simple. I mean, they're probably top brand. I doubt he goes into any and everywhere, or maybe it doesn't matter to him. As long as the clothes, I mean, is of some level of quality and his clothes that can put on his back. And we're talking about a billionaire. I want to call him a multi-billionaire. I want to call him that. Not a, you know, because how do you qualify, quantify a multi-millionaire? Maybe I can call him a multi-billionaire. Billionaire. The man has left millionaire status into multi, then to billionaire. And I'm calling him multi-millionaire. A lot of wealthy people, my beauties, a lot of them, many of them, they dress very simple. It's usually poor, pauperized, poverty-stricken ones tend to dress up. I'm not saying all wealthy people do it. I said a lot of them. I want you to listen keenly because you will run with something that I did not say. A lot of wealthy people, they dress very simple. Now, when you look at Sidem, this is a, I mean, a beautiful woman. Her personality is very simple. It is obvious that clothes do not matter. As a matter of fact, if I did not hear him mention anything about that, I would not have thought about her needing any clothes. I just thought to myself, she's just simple in her dress code. And Vibes Cartel is okay with that. He's quite fine by that. These things are not necessarily driving forces for men. You know, even if they go after women, if they look good and they get you, it is about the treatment thereafter. So you could be the best dressing woman in the world. If the treatment is not good, they're going to leave as the man. And if they stay, as I said, they're going to get bun, cheese, crackers, milk, soda, cheese tricks, and popcorn constantly. It is foolhardy. It is ridiculous. It speaks to a sort of simplistic mindset. For those who made a comment like that, it's like you're a simpleton, like you're a dolt. It is as though when emotional intelligence was being given out, you didn't even get the pot bottom, the bottom of the pot. Then you were in the bathroom when the bottom, when the pot was being burnt. You were in the bathroom and you did not come out until the next day. You sound ridiculous. And the man had to literally tell you, said, you know, he gave her 30,000 30, US dollars. Some of you may will never probably hold that amount of money in your lifetime or in one sitting some and he said the most expensive thing she did was to buy his mother a one of the top brand bags for two thousand something almost three thousand dollars but you just maybe bought things that just look good but it, she's not going to spend like a ten thousand pound this and, and ridiculous she spent her money probably wisely baby she saved some because she's just not that she's not materialistic in that sense no Vibes are giving it 30,000 US. No, I'm not gonna tell you the lies to little people. Be with a shop, so tell you some good shopping, but we don't make you say it still, you know. And I definitely save some still, you know. And, you know, even if you're getting more money, it's still about just practicing how to save and invest. 30,000 US dollars. She could, I mean, in she could take even 10,000 out of that to buy something decent, you know, that looks good. For the you know shop for the year perhaps because it's obvious that she doesn't you know she's not into the whole clothing thing that's just not her but she looks good because of her beauty it overshadows that 
it overshadows that. I wanna see some things. No, seriously. You people are amazing, you know. I, when I sit, I, I sit and I think and I say, God, help to transform, transform the lives of people so they, they can become better human beings, including myself. Two, Lord, what legal, wholesome, good way can I find ways of making money and helping people, helping with kingdom building and to take care of others and to take care of myself? My mind is consumed by those kinds of things. How is it that your mind is so consumed that you're able to see something that is a false narrative, a false situation because the girl has money that could buy all of your clothes? He said when he went on the pages and was about to disrespect some of you, he just said when he looked, pity came over him. A sort of empathy came over him. I, I cannot fathom people how you see these things and sometimes you wonder why certain calamity and malevolent things reach you in life remember part b of the first commandment love your neighbor as yourselves treat people the way you want to be treated when you decide not to do that and to rebel against that um commandment not something that god is in not an encouragement but a commandment then you're going to pay the pipe and you cannot pay him god will hold you accountable some of you are just mischief makers and god will deal with you in due course you could really look at that lady and think that she's out of clothing you really could look at her and with what you what you used to tell you look at the, her, the quality of her skin or hair and just to hold her whole disposition you can tell that this lady knows money many of you do not and will never get there you'll be stuck at ground position basic level and that is why it is imperative that you read things because if you were readers i'm not talking about just comic books or reading a stop sign but maybe even that may help you have to start somewhere the basic phonics you'd realize that oh my god i think i'm operating in folly and being ridiculous and being nonsensical and being like a moron to think that the lady is in need of clothing <laughs> look at where she, they went recently and they spent time with the prime minister of um what, what was the country that they went to antigua and I don't know if they had gone somewhere else, I think. And you could have think said they could have spent all that money, go on the private jet for her and not she not she not having any clothes and going to be in the presence of dignitaries. Are you people for real? God I just what bothers my heart, I'm just wondering when the dunes nest will leave Jamaica. When? Or will when will it mitigate to a great extent? When will it mitigate? until you decide to go against the man the the hypothesis that anything that you want to hide put it in a book but it was about black people but i think it, they need to say anything you want to hide from jamaican people put it in a book because had you been readers you would never even think of uttering such nonsense i was listening to a man who is into insurance he says the people who used to dress up and dress good they don't have a dime generally speaking not in all cases and the ones who were simply he said a man came and the man drove a simple vehicle dressed simple and he said the man had millions and millions of dollars but he was just not materialistic like that some of us are like flamboyant and like looking good so you know that's just my personality but he had the man just was prudent with his money so many wealthy people they dress very simple look at bill gates David, I don't know how true it is. I said when Butch, the late great Butch Stewart was alive, he would wear even Marina <laughs> into the office. I don't know how true it is. You know, I mean, it's his business. So he wanted to just be as comfortable as possible. And he was, and Butch Stewart was a billionaire. It was just not him. That was the least of the apostles, so to speak. The least. They're about income and generational wealth. Income building, generational wealth. The lady's not out of clothes. She could provide clothes for you guys. 
Anyway, you know what to do, read TikTok and YouTube, subscribe, give me a like, man.